CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 166 through 170 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 166 The company is deploying SD WAN routers to multiple branch offices. To streamline the installation process, they want the routers to be shipped directly to the sites without requiring on-site configuration by IT staff. Which feature enables this capability? The answer is C. Zero-touch provisioning. Zero-touch provisioning allows ZTP-capable network devices to be deployed with minimal manual intervention. Once the device is powered on and connected to the network, it automatically retrieves its configuration from a central controller. This eliminates the need for IT personnel to configure each device manually, speeding up deployments and reducing operational costs. Question 167. A network administrator is troubleshooting slow performance and packet loss on the switch. Some interfaces show an increasing count of giant frames in the logs, and users report intermittent connectivity issues. Which of the following is the most likely cause? The answer is A. Mismatch MTU settings. Giant frames are Ethernet frames that exceed the default maximum transmission unit size of 1500 bytes on a network. If MTU settings are mismatched between switch interfaces or devices, packets larger than 1500 bytes may be dropped or fragmented, causing increased latency, retransmissions, and network instability. Some networks may support jumbo frames, but all devices must be configured accordingly to avoid issues. Question 168. A network administrator is analyzing a routing table and notices multiple entries for the same subnet. Which of the following types of routes will take precedence when determining the best path? The answer is A. Static. Routing decisions are based on administrative distance, which determines the trustworthiness of a route. Static routes have a lower administrative distance than dynamically learned routes such as BGP, OSPF, or default routes. Because of this, a manually configured static route will always take precedence over dynamic routing protocols for the same subnet unless overridden by a more specific route. Question 169. A user reports connecting to a familiar Wi-Fi network, but after logging in they notice unusual activity such as unexpected pop-ups and love and prompts for various services. Upon investigation, it is discovered that the Wi-Fi network was an attacker-controlled rogue access point mimicking a legitimate SSID. Which of the following best describes this type of attack? The answer is C. Evil Twin. An evil twin attack occurs when an attacker sets up a rogue Wi-Fi access point with the same SSID as a legitimate network to trick users into connecting. Once connected, the attacker can intercept sensitive information such as lodging credentials and personal data or inject malicious content into the victim's traffic. This type of attack is particularly effective in public spaces where users frequently connect to open Wi-Fi networks, making it difficult to distinguish between a legitimate and a fraudulent access point. Question 170. Which of the following subnet masks corresponds to a forward slash 28 CIDR notation? The answer is C. 255.255.255.240. The forward slash 28 subnet mask corresponds to 255.255.255.240, which provides 16 total IP addresses, 14 usable with one reserved for the network address and one for the broadcast address. Insider notation in the forward slash 28 represents the number of bits set to one in the subnet mask. This notation directly translates to the dotted decimal value of 255.255.255.240. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.